Hello and welcome. In this video, I will introduce Hydra DX and I will review crowd loan conditions and rewards. Thank you for subscribing. Hydra DX is a cross chain decentralized exchange built on Polkadot. Hydra will help new crypto projects to distribute tokens to their communities along with the initial price discovery of their native tokens. Thus, Hydra will serve as a gateway to liquidity for all new networks on Polkadot. Hydra aims to enable frictionless liquidity for all crypto assets by building the first of its kind, a new type of multi asset liquidity pool called Omnipool. Hydra will use this Omnipool to drive automated market making on the platform. Hydra will enable liquidity for all Polkadot ecosystem crypto assets and will be also compatible with Ethereum backed assets. What this means for average users is that everyone will be able to easily trade and swap all crypto assets from Polkadot ecosystem for very low transaction fees with high transaction speed and what's more, users will be able to put their assets to work to earn a yield on Hydra platform. In addition, one of the most exciting innovations on Hydra DX is that liquidity providers won't have to have assets in pairs. To earn a yield on your assets, holding just one asset will be sufficient. Hydra will also offer immediate swaps of multiple assets and for trading and swapping, it won't be necessary to hold AGX tokens. Transactions will be paid in the traded token. As I said, the core value of Hydra DX will lie in its liquidity pool called Omnipool, which is a multi-asset liquidity pool, so this is not just a classic pool with one or two assets in it. Omnipool is an innovative liquidity solution which will enable putting all crypto assets into one shared liquidity pool, which, as Hydra team plans, should unlock enormous and so far unprecedented and unparalleled efficiency and liquidity. According to Hydra developers, this immense liquidity provided by Omnipool will also prevent price slippage. Slippage is a situation when a trader eventually trades a token for a different price than what he initially requested due to a movement in the price between the time when he places an order and the time the trade is executed. Price slippage is one of the most common problems of liquidity pool decentralized exchanges caused by low liquidity in a particular liquidity pool and Hydra's Omnipool should put a stop to that. Also, thanks to being part of Polkadot ecosystem, Hydra will benefit from shared security, speed and interoperability of Polkadot, which will enable seamless value exchange across all networks built on Substrate. Hydra will enable to cover transaction fees also with other tokens from Polkadot ecosystem, not just with HGX tokens. Hydra trading platform will also offer automatic dollar cost averaging to spread purchases of tokens across predefined intervals. And thanks to being built on Substrate, Hydra trading platform could be also immune to the practice of front running. So in conclusion, Hydra DX is a decentralized exchange which could solve several main issues of major DEXs like Balancer and Uniswap and could take decentralized trading and swapping to the next level. Decentralized exchanges and liquidity pools are the cornerstone of all decentralized crypto ecosystems and Hydra DX could really become one of the biggest players in this space. Now Hydra tokenomics, the total supply is very high, 10 billion HDX tokens. 15% of HDX tokens have been allocated to founders, investors and advisors. The rest is allocated for the community. Luckily, these 15% of tokens have a gradual vesting schedule. Private investors have a vesting period of 18 months with a gradual unlocking starting at the mainnet launch. And also team and founders tokens will be vested for 18 months starting 6 months after the mainnet is launched with a gradual unlocking. Thus, it will take 24 months for all team and founders tokens to get to the market which is definitely good news for all crowd loan contributors. The circulating supply after Hydra mainnet is launched will be around 25%, that is 2.5 billion tokens, and 60% from those 2.5 billion will be vested for 18 months. Thus, if I am getting these numbers right, and the circulating supply few months after Hydra launch will be around those 1.5 billion AGX tokens, and assuming between 1 to 200 million market cap, I estimate the price of one AGX token to be roughly close to 10 to 15 cents. Now the utility of AGX tokens as the utility highly determines the demand for the tokens. AGX tokens will be used to minimize trading fee costs, then also for staking on HydraDX network, so users will receive staking rewards in AGX tokens. 
Apart from that, holders of HDX tokens will have a lower over collateralization ratio when taking out a loan from Hydra lending platform. And also providing HDX tokens in Omnipool will earn liquidity providers HDX yield. And now Hydra Crowd Loan. Hydra allocated quite average 10% of tokens for Crowd Loan rewards, that is 1 billion HDX tokens. The contribution cap is 8 million DOT. I would expect Hydra to collect between 4 to 6 million DOT. The distribution of Crowd Loan rewards will start after Hydra Mainnet is launched. The bad news is that HDX rewards will be distributed linearly with each block. So there is no initial unlock of a bigger portion of HDX tokens. There is no referral bonus nor early bird bonus, but still, when you contribute your DOT will highly affect your HDX reward. HDX reward received per one DOT will depend on two factors. The first is the total DOT collected in the Hydra Crowd Loan. The second factor is when you make your contribution. Contributions made before Hydra is leading the bidding by 15% will receive the highest rewards between 125 to 280 HGX tokens per one DOT. However, once Hydra gets in the lead by 15% within the ongoing auction, the HGX reward will start dropping linearly and the rewards will be at the lowest level once Hydra has a lead of 25% or more. So if you make your contribution once Hydra is in the lead by 25% or more, you can expect AGX rewards to be as low as 12.5 to 28 AGX per one dot. Simply put, if you are planning to contribute to Hydra, make sure to do so before Hydra leads the auction by 15%. I think contributing once Hydra gets in the lead by 15% or more does not make too much sense and contributing once Hydra leads the auction by 25% is basically pointless as the reward would be extremely low. Here on Hydra contribution website you can see that at this moment every DOT contribution will be rewarded with 100% HDX reward. The current reward per one dot is 270H HDX. Based on what Hydra team stated on their telegram, Hydra is aiming to win the 8th slot in order to maximize HDX rewards for all contributors. At this moment, the amount of dot necessary to take the lead within this 8th auction is 2.2 million dot, that is why currently the target is 2.2 million. Getting those 2.2 million dot would put Hydra ahead of Centrifuge, which has so far collected a little less than those 2.2 million DOT. Naturally, this target will move up as the total DOT collected in Centrifuge or in other crowd loan will be increasing. As always, the less total DOT will be necessary for Hydra to secure a parachain slot, the higher will be HDX reward per one DOT. Now, to contribute to Hydra, add your DOT contribution here, then simply click Contribute and that's it. Now my final thoughts. I believe there is a high probability that Hydra will win a slot in this second batch, having a very decent chance to grab the victory already in the 8th or 9th auction. If Hydra eventually does not secure a slot in this second batch, all DOT will be returned to contributors after March 10th, when the 11th Polkadot auction ends. I think there is still perhaps 2-3 to three weeks time to contribute to Hydra to receive the full reward, as I don't expect Hydra will get ahead of Composable Finance within the 7th auction, which will run from January 6th to January 13th. But after that, within the 8th auction, who knows? So I would say to play it safe and to make sure to get 100% of HGX reward, contribute your DOT sometime at the end of the 7th auction. It can very well happen that some huge 1 to 2 million DOT contribution will land in Hydra's crowd loan to place Hydra ahead of centrifuge by those 15%. I think as long as the total DOT remains around 4 million DOT, the reward would be around 250 HGX per 1 DOT, which would still be quite attractive reward. As I said, initially I am expecting the price of HGX token to be around 10 to 15 cents. I did no return calculation this time since there is no initial unlock of HGX rewards and the price of HGX token will surely greatly fluctuate during those two years over which HGX crowd loan rewards will be vested. Please let me know in the comments whether or not you are bullish on Hydra in the long term and if you plan to participate in the crowd loan. Thank you very much for watching and bye bye.